So as we know that we are solving the top 50 array questions according to geek for geeks So today we are going to solve this question. Move all negative elements to one side of array. Okay. So this is the question. So let's let's just see that what the question is. Okay. Given a unsorted array array of size n having both negative and positive integers. The task is to place all negative elements at the end of the array without changing the order of positive elements and negative elements. So the question is trying to say that uh, we need to uh, we need to put all the elements in the last of array without changing the place of positive integers. Okay, or negative integers as well. So how can we uh, do this question? Okay, so uh, let's take, uh, uh, take the input. One minus one, three, two. Let's just see one minus one, three, two, and what do we have? Minus seven, minus five, eleven, six. Minus seven, minus five, eleven and six okay so this is the input okay and uh, we have to move all the all the negative elements uh, to the one side without changing the cases so we need to convert this array uh, to this array so it should look like this one three two eleven six minus one minus seven minus five so this array should look like this. So th this uh, should be our answer, okay? As we can see uh, in the output as well, okay? So how can we uh, uh, do this? So we, we know that uh, arrays dot sort will not work here, okay? This uh, will just not work. So what can we do, do about this? So one, uh, one easy way to uh, do this is uh, create a array list, okay? Create a array list, okay? And uh, what we are going to do, we are going to save all the positive uh, positive elements into this array, array list first, okay? After uh, saving all the positive elements uh, to this array list, we are going to save all the negative elements into this, okay? So how, uh, how we are going to proceed with this? So we are going to run a loop, okay? And uh, uh, loop is going to start from here, okay? So we are seeing that is, this element positive or negative so it is positive okay it is greater than or equal to zero so what, what we are going to do we are going to uh, save this into our array list okay we are going to save this into our array list we have saved it we come here okay so minus one is positive or negative element so of course it is negative element so we are going to skip it and okay now we are at here so three is positive or negative element. So of course it is positive element. So we are going to save this into our array list. Okay. After the, after that we are at two. So is it positive or negative element? So of course we know that it is a positive element. So we are going to save this into our array list. Okay. We are here at minus seven. So it is a negative element. So we are going to escape it. Okay. We are at uh, minus five, so uh, it is again a negative element. So we are going to skip it again. Now eleven is a positive element, so we uh, we are going to store this into our uh, array list. Okay, and uh, six is also a positive element, so we are going to store this in our array list. Okay, so we are uh, uh, we have stored all the positive elements into our array list. After this, what we are going to do? We are going to run a loop again. And this time we are going to save only negative elements into our array list. Okay. So we are at here. It is a positive element. So we are going to skip it. Remember this time we are saving only negative elements. Okay. We are not saving any positive elements into this. Okay. So we are at minus one. So it is a negative element. So we are going to store this in our array list. For right now, I am erasing this. Okay, so uh, next we will be here at uh, three. So three is a positive element. So we are going to skip it. Two is a positive element. So uh, we are going to skip it. Minus seven, minus seven is a negative element. So we are going to save minus seven into our array list. Okay, 
after that we are at uh, minus five so what we are going, going to do we are going to save this into our array list okay and then we are we will be be at 11 which is a positive number so we have to skip it and we will be at six so which is also a positive number so we are going to skip it as well okay so after all this you can see that our array list contains all the uh, all the negative elements into one side okay and uh, we have not changed the position of uh, positive or negative elements okay and uh, but uh, in the question we, you will see that we have to uh, we don't have to return a uh, array list okay uh, uh, we don't have to return anything uh, in fact so uh, we have to uh, do the changes in the same array which is given okay so we have uh, to uh, do the changes in the input array okay so uh, what can we do all this? So it is easy. We are going to run a, an, another loop and we are going to save all this, these number into the input array. We are going to save all this into our input array. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's how, that's how we are going to uh, solve this question. So uh, let's go to the, um, let's go to the uh, uh, code editor and uh, solve this question. Okay. So we are at code, code editor. So let's try to. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to create an array list. So I'm creating array array list. Array list of integer. I'm naming temp is okay. Okay, after that, uh, we are going to run a loop and we are going to save all the positive integers into this. So, from zero to n. Okay, and we are going to check that if it is equal to zero or not. Uh, equal to zero or greater than greater than zero or not so it should be equal to or uh, greater than zero and if it is then uh, um, all we are going to do just we are going to add the current element into our array list after that we are going to run a, another loop and this time And this time we, uh, we are going to save all the negative elements. Okay, so if ARI is less than zero, then we are going to save them into our array list. After all these, um, all the negative elements are, are stored in the right hand side of uh, the array list, and all the positive integers are in the left hand side of array list. So uh, we have the answer in our array list, but we have to store this answer in the input array. So we are going to run another loop for that. And uh, now uh, we are going to, going to store Whatever uh, is it in our uh, array list, we are going to save this into our input array. Okay, so temp dot get. So that's it. Let's uh, compile this code. And let's see that if it is running or not. So as we can see that uh, our basic test cases are getting passed. So let's submit this code. So it is solved. So this question is solved. So next uh, we are going to solve the question, find the union and interse intersection of two sorted array. So until then, goodbye.